Hello everyone, welcome to the power cruising tutorial, or at least the cavern section of the power cruising tutorial. So there's some things we should get out of the way before I explain power cruising in depth, because it's really annoying. First of all, I like to hold A and B on the controller, so if you say let go of one of the buttons, you don't drop the inputs. If you only hold one and you let go for just a frame, I'm pretty sure that the game is going to register that as you dropping an input and you're going to lose a lot of speed. And that's obviously not a good thing for speedruns or scoring because scoring is loosely related to how fast you do the stage as long as you go through all the rings properly. Full boost is more often than not faster and boosting off of the waves is also more often than not faster. So at the start of the stage, you're going to angle slightly to the left, and we'll get into safe strats later because, you know, sometimes all sports runs can be a little bit annoying when you try to do riskier strats for half a second of time save. So start slightly to the left, Full boost, full boost. Alright, once you go off this wave here, there's going to be a wave that you can't see, but you just have to trust me on it. You want to boost it about three out of four bars. Like that. Now I didn't get the angle right, so I'll try to demonstrate better what the angle actually is supposed to look like, so you can see. So you start like this. Three and a half. It's actually closer to three and a half. And then you're going to boost and go through this two times ring. Now, once you enter the cavern, we're going to go to the left side. Why not the right side? Because the right side is slightly slower, and I just find myself getting boost canceled more often when I go right anyway, so you probably don't want to do it. Also, getting seven points through that ring means you are pretty good. So you're going to go around here, and then... You're not going to get a full boost off of either of those waves, or probably not this one. And once we get to here, we're going to start going left, and we're going to go in between the ring and the buoy. So I'll show you what that looks like. Maybe I won't show you what it looks like, because I hit the rock, but you should go in the gap. And then you're going to turn right, so you can go through here. Go through this ring, and then you're going to start turning left. Once you get to the end, there's going to be a wave, and I'll try to explain. Off of here, sometimes you can get another boost, and it's really just going to be trial and error. I'm probably going to get a full boost off of this wave. But if you boost early enough, you can delay your boost until the second wave, and that's slightly faster as well. Get small boost off of this wave, and then you're going to quit out like that. So I guess I'm going to do an IL run of the stage just to better showcase the lines and what it looks like in a full run without pausing. So that's Cavern, and I guess now I should go into safer strats for all sports runs. So if you're going to do multi-sport runs, this is probably going to be the better lines for you. It's going to start the same, we're going to go to the left, but we're going to go around this ring, 
it's slightly safer because you can't really hit the two times ring and then lose time. It is slower though, so I wouldn't recommend doing this. And then you basically just finish the rest of the stage the same that you normally would. There's not really much to it other than the beginning. And that's the cabin tutorial.